Hi, my name is Jonathan Hicks, and today I'm joined by... Phil. Helen. And we've just finished playing Dominion. Now, this is the original deck builder, so I'll explain just very briefly how a deck builder works if you're not familiar with it. If you have a deck of cards here, and you draw five cards, in this case, each time, and then in Dominion, you can play one action card. So these white cards are the action cards, and the action cards will help you in various ways. So if I choose to play this one, I can then pick up another two cards from my deck. That's great. And what I'm really trying to get at this point is money. Oh, that's great. I got some money here. The plus one action means I can then play another action card, so I could also maybe play this Baron, and that would maybe give me some other ability. But ultimately, you're trying to get coins in your hand to buy other cards to add to your deck. So you can see there's a whole range of different action cards here that are all gonna do different things. So some cards are quite cheap, like the moat here, that just lets you pick up a couple of cards. Some cards are more expensive, like this spy lets you look at other players' cards and uh, you can force people to discard their good cards, so that can be quite handy. Uh, the thief will actually steal money off other people, so there can be quite a bit of interaction. So you can buy action cards that will help you. The price is always at the bottom left here. Or you can buy treasure cards. When you start the game, you only have these copper cards in your hand, so every time you get a money card, it's only worth one, and it's difficult to buy the better, more expensive cards. But you can buy uh, more expensive money cards to help you later in the game. So you can see I've drawn a gold card and a silver card, which makes it a lot easier for me to buy the more expensive cards. So you're kind of adding the better money into your hand, but the ultimate objective is to get victory points, which is these green cards here. Again, the price is at the bottom left. The best one, which is worth six victory points, is, costs eight money. So it's quite difficult to buy those. You have to build up to it. So you're trying to, um, when you get these cards, let's say I were to buy a gold card on this turn, it goes into your discard pile. And any cards you play this turn all go into discard pile. On your next turn, you draw more cards. And eventually, you're going to run out of cards in your deck. When all these cards have gone to your discard pile, you shuffle your discard pile to make a new draw pile, and then draw these cards again to play for future turns. So that gold that I bought that went into my discard pile, when you shuffle it, then it comes back around and you get to use it again. So you're trying to add cards to your deck to make your deck better to be able to afford the really expensive victory point cards. Uh, so it's an engine building game essentially, and once all the provinces have gone, usually that triggers the end of the game, and whoever has the most of those green cards is the winner. All right, what do we think? I like this game. Uh, it's relatively quick, probably about 45 minutes for a game, and the game is slightly different every time, uh, so you can choose different cards to build the game. Uh, so it's I like the variety that it's slightly different and quick and easy to pick up. Okay. Helen? Yes, I like this game for exactly the same reasons. You, it feels like a different game every single time. and There are different strategies depending on the combination of cards that you have. Um, which makes it more interesting uh, if you pick up on what the best strategy is quickly. Um, yeah, and it doesn't take too long either. So, Rating out of 10? Uh, 9 out of 10, I'd say. Wow, okay. Well, 8 out of 10. Okay. Yeah, I really like this one. People criticise it sometimes because it doesn't have a lot of theme. It feels like the theme's been sort of pasted on afterwards. The cards are called Baron and Spy and things, but they don't necessarily have a lot to do with the game. It's very uh, abstract, really. You just build your engine. Whoever's the most efficient in doing that tends to be the winner. Uh, but I do really like it. As they say, it just plays very quickly. I've played this a lot with my family, with people who don't often play games, and I'm surprised at how quickly they pick it up and how much they enjoy it. So uh, I think it's a very solid game and one I'd happily play again and again, really. I think I'd be on an 8 out of 10. All right, thanks for watching. That was Dominion.